this is cyanotype. It's an old, old process. It's been around for a long time. And let's make a cyanotype print. Okay, so what you do is, here's, here's the instructions. Make a so-called sun print. You take a paper out of the black box. Here's your paper. It's in here. It's in, in a black bag, so the light doesn't get to it. You, pay, you, put, you place the paper blue side up on the board and place shapes on the paper to make a design. So this is, uh, this is cyanotype paper. And let's just use some of these pre-made shapes here. Car, uh, what is this? Oh, no, I want a star. So let's do a star in the car. And now what you do is you place it in here. Oops. In here, and what that is, is a pretty much a sun simulator. It's a UV, there are UV bulbs in here. So, there we go. Now, it's being, it's being radiated with UV rays. You can do this in the sun. You can actually buy cyanotype paper. And it will take a while, probably, I don't know how strong this is, but it'll take a few seconds, maybe a minute. And after a minute, when you put it in the sun, you'll have to do it like for 10 minutes, I guess. And then you develop the print in water. It's that simple. You can put negatives on there as well. Like I do this with four by five negatives back home. I put it on cyanotype paper sometimes. I, um, I put it in the sun and then I develop it in water and you get this beautiful deep blue print. So we'll try this here. Timer's still going. And it's all, it's all contact prints. Um, just, just the way you do it is it's all contact prints. I remember when I um, was a kid, we did this and we put like leaves uh, on there from the garden and things. Our exposure is done. Our exposure is done. Here is our exposure. And you get, you get a bit of an idea already. So that's what happens and now it takes about two Takes about two minutes in water to develop and all of a sudden it disappears. But hold on, hold on. Let's put a bit of more water on there. And put it slightly upside down. Let it, let it do its thing. It takes about two minutes to develop. And then after those two minutes, you end up with a cyanotype print. It's, it's pretty much uh, a compound of two different chem uh, chemicals that you, that you mix up and you take them and you brush them on paper and you can make your own cyanotype paper. You can brush it on other surfaces. You can put it on cloth. You can put it on um, even wood. And then uh, you, end up exposing things on it and again it gives you these nice blue tones this is not quite done yet but it's getting there and now you see a negative image of what i just put on there so just imagine putting putting like a four by five negative on a cyanotype paper and you get the positive back and it's a blue positive and everything that's black is then deep blue and the colors will come out really deep as, uh, as soon as you dry it as soon as you and dry it out. So this is pretty much, uh, I would think it's almost done. And of course you can do those in any size. Um, if you want to do this from a, from a negative, you can blow it up on your computer and print it on, on, a, transparent, on a transparency and then do it any size you can print. And then you have a big negative. And now all we're doing is let me dry this. So once it dries, the blue will darken down even further. Now it's more of a greenish tone, but it will turn like into a real nice blue. I'll come, I'll show you one. This is, this is what cyanotype looks like once it's dried. It goes really deep blue and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. So that's one of the old traditional photo techniques to make positives out of negatives, cyanotype.